What's up guys, welcome back to our Football Manager Sessions. It's nice to be back on it, it's uh, been a while since I've been able to even get near my computer as uh, work's been so busy. And as you can see, that's where I am right now, but uh, we'll jump straight back into the hot seat on our match. Right, we are finally just taking the reins again back at Braintree. I've been looking forward to getting this manager mode for a while. Uh, I've been playing another ones with my cousin as I mentioned in the last recording, but um, I've been itching to get back in charge of the irons because uh, I know that I can have a successful run with these and I've been rubbing my hands at the thought of uh, getting some new signings in to make the club better. As I, I've met the, um, what was the uh, ma the chairman's name, uh, Danny Cowley, I've met him, had a little discussion. We, we, we have mutual uh, respect for each other so we're going to look to push the club a bit further. I'm yet to meet all of the players but I've met a couple of them, but uh, see what we can remember. I remember meeting, where is he? What player was he? Let's see if I can remember him. Kenny Davis, that's the one we met. That is our talisman for the club. I feel like he could hold on to the uh, squad for us and see if we can progress. Um, let's see what messages we got sent through. Uh, just loads of information from my favourite club, that is West Ham. Since day one I've supported them. A bit sad for them to be leaving the, uh, the bowling ground. I'm hoping to get a couple more uh, visits in before they leave and go on to bigger and better things, but I support the move, I guess. Just as long as it improves the club. Right, let's have a look. I'm going to try and strengthen the, uh, the squad because I know we was a bit short on players. I'll see what we need. I've, I'll put my formation in that I, I think that's going to do the best for us because I better play around on my other manager mode where I'm currently at RFC Liège in the Belgian third division. I've just come on I've, on a quite a good bit of form but, uh, with their so I've got a couple of good good ideas here to bring in from that league because I know on this one I've not built up a very good network yet so I've got quite a good understanding from the other leagues on other manager modes. And um, while we're on the uh, subject of football manager mode I was thinking of a couple of other ideas to do for football manager but there'll be a... Uh, I'll have a look over over about planning them in the future because this is all well and good doing a series of manager mode but I want to look to make do something different but I'm not quite sure what quite, quite sure what it is that I'm going to do yet so we'll just have to wait and see I don't know if you guys have been wondering but as you can see I've, both manager modes I've done so both, both programs I've done so far have um, consisted of me being at at work and just to give you a bit of an insight of what I do I am on Frontline which is the 999 calls for uh, East of England Ambulance Service um, I'm thinking of probably once uh, once I've got this up and running a bit about doing a couple of recordings about what I've what jobs I've been to and what people's houses I've been to and what I've seen and all different things like that so I think that'd be quite an interesting uh, insight into the 999 industry and the emergency services and see what we actually have to part with but currently I'm based down in a construction site that's building the new tunnels for uh, for London and um, Basically, we have to be on site in case anything happens or anyone gets injured. Then we run to help them, and then. But the site we work at are very good. So basically, I just sit, play football manager, and live the dream. So can't really argue with that. So it's best that I get my football manager in. Right. So as you can see, we've uh, we've arrived at our Oxford City match, and uh, I need to put my Fix uh, me, um, me line up in. 
I'm going to go with the lineup that I play with my Liège team because I was conceding a lot of goals on that manager mode. I thought, what can I do? What can I do to strengthen them up? So I decided to go for a 4-5-1 with my left and right flanks running up the channels as well as my wing backs on either side to overlap and then whip the ball in to the midfield, uh, to up, up the top whoever my striker is, but that means having a nice striker. I found that having a quite a tall striker up the front is very beneficial because I can whip the ball in or play route one and they can win majority of the headers, lay it down to the centre mids and then bang goal but um, this is a very uh, low team so I don't expect much from them but we'll, uh, we'll give it a go and see what we can do with it so I like to play one up here that's the formation I go for the minute it's not the conventional way as you can see four four one one but this allows for my four players in the centre mid and the right mid to run up the channel and uh, hold the ball up. And but with what the uh, left mid does there for me is he can make a connection with the striker that's more than what the midfielders can do. Also, with this formation, the left back, left wing back, whatever you choose, can run the channel and he's got more freedom because he's got that gap where the wingers left open. So. I find that works a lot of time, but with this, the um, the other teams will recognise that there's a gap there. So what they'll do is they'll try and to pump the ball over to that side and try and exploit that flank, but they don't know that that player can come up and cover that. But once they've uh, facilitated for that, I can uh, drop him back and push him up up the channel, and then drop him back down. But we can play around with that. Right, so let's uh, start naming our first squad. Let's see who we've got here. Will Norris and let's have a look at their stats. Right, Will Norris is a 21 year old goalkeeper. He's English. His potential looks quite good and his ability at the minute is quite good for the, uh, the, the type of team we've got. Um, Nathan McDonald's a bit older. A bit less ability and a bit less potential, but I think let's have a look. Let's compare them both. We'll go Will Norris comparison with Braintree, Nathan McDonald. Right, Will Norris. Let's see what his stats are like. As you can see, Nathan McDonald is the one in the red and Will Norris is the one in the green. You probably knew that already, but just so that you know what you're looking out for. As you can see, there's a, it's predominantly green, which uh, indicates that Will Norris is our best best keeper for the job. So we'll uh, put him in for the time being. But I'm looking for, to bring in someone a bit more, um, that can give us a bit more because I don't feel as if Braintree have got the best defence in the league, so to have a solid keeper will benefit them in a lot. So let's uh, go back, 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 back. We'll put Will Norris in for the, for the time being. And I want to change this to, actually, we'll put the players in in a minute. Who we got here? Alright, so hang on, so we don't have, or do we have? Uh, right, so we've only got one option for left back, so we'll put Sam Hagerham in the position. He's the one for the job. Let's check out his stats as well while we're there. See, as, as you can see, they're not great players, but for what they are, they'll they'll do the job at this at this um, division. So we'll keep on to him for a minute. Let's have a look at Jeremy Walker. He's a tidy little uh, right back. He looks quite good for the club. Kenny Davis, we'll not put him there. We'll use him in centre mid. Mark Phillips, getting on, getting on a bit at 33, but could do a job, but we'll hold on to him. Mitch Brundle, no. Nah. I'll tell you what, we'll put Jeremy Walker in there because he'll, uh, 
and he's quite a good talent, but what we'll do is, I'll change this around. So we'll have, what is it? Uh, what one do I need? I'll use wing back and we'll put attack. Uh, wing back, attack. There we go. And we'll have wing of support. Yeah, wing of support. Right, let's have a look at the centre mid. We know. Oh, no, this is defensive. Defensive centre. 31 year old defender Ian Miller. Very good ability and very good potential. Solid. He's going straight in the squad. Straight in. That was nice and easy, that one. Number two. Ian Miller, we'll just put him in, whoops. Mark Phillips, another elderly gentleman, I say elderly, they're old for the game. We'll hold on to Matt Payne, Remy Clarima, not, not going to cut it. Mitch Brundle, I'll nah, tell you what, we'll go for Mark Phillips, yeah he looks quite good. So that's the uh, back row completed with Will Norris in goal. Let's go for centre mids. Let's go for the wide midfielder first. Ches Isaac, Daniel Sparks, George Carl and Jeremy Walker. Right, we'll rule Jeremy Walker out. We'll have a look at George Carl. Nah, ain't gonna cut it. Daniel Sparks. Stuff there, there is stuff there, but we'll uh, have to wait and see on that one. Ches Isaac. We're gonna put Ches Isaac in, I think. Actually, whoa, wait. Whoa, 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 back up. He can't play on that left. We can't be dealing with that. In you go, Daniel Sparks. You got the call. You got the call. Hang about, no, get over there. Okay. Let's have a look. Uh, and on the right, Chez Isaac, you drop in there. Centre mids, who we got? I know Kenny Davis is in there and he's going to get the call straight away, without a doubt, in the squad. Well done, son. Right, who else have we got? Alex Woodyard. Not great. Not great. George Cole, just looked at him. Not great either. Matt Payne. Yes, mate. In you go. Without a doubt. Other midfielder. Who we got? Kenny Davis. He's in. Ches Isaac. He's in. Alex Woodard. Yeah. Uh, I'm... Uh, Max Brundle. You know what? Matt, you're going to have to... Uh, no, Alex, you go in there. Alex, go in there for the time being. We'll keep you in there for a sec. But listen, mate, you've got to provide the goals and assists because, listen, mate, this is a big league. You can lose your position very quickly, so you need to start uh, playing properly, I guess. I've not even met you, so... I'm sorry to judge you so soon, but we have an understanding, Alex, don't we? Do we, mate? Up front is Jordan Cox. Let's have a look. Wow. He ain't going to be putting in balls, is he, in the goal? No. Charlie Strutton. Better than Jordan. Still not great. Simone Akinola. Yeah. Yeah. Sean Marks, hello, hello, hello. I know Sean Marks has been there for a little while, so he's gonna get the call. Big player, big player for the boys. Right, team instructions, here we go. Right, I want him to play slightly higher. Uh, fluid. Let's play at a higher tempo. I don't like players just taking their time. We'll go for a wide. Wide positioning. Clear the balls to the flank, play at the defence. Exactly what we want. 
hit the early cross, get that ball on top of Sean Mark's head, bang, goal. We love that. Come on, the boys. Right, mixed crosses. Now we'll go for a whipped cross. Put that right on his boot. More direct, but shorter pass. I'm going to retain that possession. That's what we want. We're going to run at that defence. Be more expressive. Uh, as you can see, it will uh, give the players the freedom to play the game with additional vision and flair outside the confines of the team tactical setup. We'll go for that because I like the players to uh, prove to me that they've got what it takes to be in this league and in this team. Right, okay, that'll do for the time being. Uh, we'll keep it as standard. Right, and we'll um, get the old uh, assistant manager to choose the uh, the substitutions because you've got to give him something to do. You can't just get paid and then just not do nothing. Right, where is it? Uh, pick right unpick positions only. Pick team without restrictions. There you go. Done. Boom. Submit team. Here we go, first game. Let's go out there and smash it. Right, little sip of water. Don't mind if I do, thank you. Continue. Right, what they got there? Do I know any of their players? Is that buyer on bub? Is that buyer on bub? I've had previous experience of him. Or is it Byron or Bradley? Byron or Bradley, let's see what one it is. Bradley bub. Right, I've had previous experience with this guy, he knows how to put a point in that, as you can see. 11 to 16 finishing. Bugger me. Right. Continue. Right, I know we we'll want to put tight mark in always. We don't want him to get any anywhere near that goal. Don't know the other players, so I can't say anything. I'm not going to rely on my sister manager to choose them. We'll see what he says. You need to stick tight to uh, Byron Bub because he's a dangerous blighter. We'll stay on him all the time. Right, continue. Mentality. Assertive. Pre-season or not, you got to win these men. You con concentrate on building their fitness up. Continue. Let's go for this one. Let's see what the boys have got. Slow start, let's uh, have a word of them. Right, where are we? Mark Phillips has picked up a card. Come on, Mark, get in the game, son. Assertive, let's, in let's uh, push forward, let's go for this. We're all over them. We are all over them. Here we go, replay, what we got here? Isaacs. Back to Walker, Walker into Kenny. Ball puts up my... Oh my God, what just happened there? I missed it. I've missed it. I got a message. He plays it back. How does he manage that? Chambers, just looking at the ball like... Just gonna watch you go by. That's it. Oh no, it's gone in my net. What do I do? <laughs> Stupid boy. Stupid boy. Oh god, their possession's good. Ultra possession's good. Ian Miller, stay on your feet, son. Alright, team talk. We've got to have a word. Assertive. Actually, we'll go calm. Concentrate. Concentrate. Am I messing about, lads? Alright, we've regained that position, so we're back in it now. Considering what we've struggled in match, we are lucky to be ahead. I don't think you know what you're talking about, Nicky. I think we're doing all right, son. Look at us go. Quick sub, Haberkam has made a lot of mistakes today. Well, we're winning 1-0, first half out of the way. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. That's, uh, as you can see, Nicky says, encourage the players, give them a bit of a morale boost. It's still pre-season. I don't care, Nicky. I don't care. We need to go out there, show him who's boss, mate. No, but he's probably right, we'll encourage him. 
Keep going out there, your hard work will be worth it at the end of the season. We'll go for that. Nice bit of encouragement. How would they say? Listen keenly, seem deep in thought. That's not good. Mark, come on, switch on, son. Nice pre-season, but we need this one. Another sip. Don't mind if I do. Thanking you. Sip number two. That's for you. Right. Where were we? Oh, that's where we were. All over them. All over them. Team talk. Let's say, let's get assertive and let's tighten up. Let's keep it tight at the back. It's been good so far. Let's not let this one slip. First game's going well so far, regardless if it's a friendly. Oxford City ain't a bad team. They are not a bad team. Right, where are we at this? Right, we're through. Sparks, out to Haberham. Apparently Nicky said they made a lot of mistakes. Oh, who was that? Who was that? That looked like Sean Marks cannoning the ball off the top of the upright. Mate, you need to be putting them away, but bloody hell, what an effort. Let's go for that again. Let's uh, make a little substitution at the end of the game, just to get the players fitness. Right, George Cole will drop you in. Oh, whoops. George Cole, you're coming on for Matt Payne, who's struggling a little bit with his fitness. Come on, Matt. It's not at the side down here. Yeah. Let's give uh, Simeon Akinola a game. Who else we got? Mark Phillips. I'm going to rest Mark Phillips because he's going to be holding us this season. Mitch Brundle. Get warming up, son. You're going on. What we got here? Vinny Mukendi, offside. Will Norris comes out to claim that. I literally thought that was going in then. Whew. Don't do that to me. All right, they've got interception. It's too early for a replay. I'm a little bit worried about this. Woodyard, back to Norris. Norris pumps it up. Out to Sparks. Simeon Akinola puts it out to Ches Isaacs. Put it down a wing. Walker whips it in. Big ball. Simeon Akinola. You might get in the team, son. That is a quality finish. What a great bit of build-up play. Oh, I absolutely love that. Puts it out to the wing to Walker. Walker puts his head up, whips in a peach of a ball. Ekin, I was like, I fancy this one. I'm going to just creep in front of that defender and put that in the net. That's what he does best. Simeon, I'm happy with that, son. What a performance that was from the boys. See the ball there. Looks like the ref blew a bit early then. But we'll take it. 2-0 win, first game of the season. It's looking good. Looking good. Passionate. Well, I didn't expect that. Your performance was delightful and very well done. No, I did expect it. A good performance all round. You look like you're ready to hit the ground running. Yes, they are. The boys are ready. I said that from the beginning. I said that. Right. You know what time it is. Sit number three. I'm going to need a pee. Right. Leave match. Well, first game with Braintree done. I think that went very well myself. Next next episode, we'll, uh, we'll look to bring in some more players. I like the look of Sean Marks and Akinola up front. We'll hold on to them. But I'm looking to bring in someone that's going to provide me a bit more on that left wing. Because I, I put that in there and you're normally supposed to get a lot more out of that position. Very quiet over there. I think I put, um, let's see who I put in there. But I put Sparks. Actually, I'll tell you what, Sparks was involved quite a bit in that game. Where did we lack? Where did we lack? You know what, we made, we might be jumping to a conclusion a bit there, but I feel like we brought in a, brought in a lot of good uh, plays in that match. So I'm gonna like to keep it as it is. But I'll tell you what I will do before we go, uh, I'll have a look in the uh, the transfer market and see what's available, because I, I know you can pick pick up some uh, quality players at the start of the season. I don't want to be uh, losing out to some of the players that's gone out for a free agent, because that is all you can really afford at the minute. And we've got quite a good wage budget and a transfer budget for what we are. But then we'll go for a quick search, contract status, 
expired. John Nurse, used to play for Dagenham Redbridge, big player. 34 years old now, I can't have you mate, I can't have you John. Look at the ages of these players, I wasn't expecting them to be this low. Let's have a look, what else can we find? Dean Pooley, where'd you come from? Nah, I've got players in better than in better in position. Let's see your what recommendations we got. Jesus. Oof. Um. Well. Uh, Emmanuel Akitu. I thought. All right. Let's uh. Let's have a look. I wanted to. Let's. I think we'll leave this for the time being. A Demonino. Let's have a look at him. Oh, she's getting a bit annoyed with me. That's the missus calling. She's getting annoyed with me. I've, I've hung up on her twice now. Does she not know I'm trying to play football manager? Come on, mate. Come on. Right, let's uh, we'll go staff. Look, that's the problem right there. Right there. There's not one of the buggers there. I need to get some scouts in ASAP. Let's go staff search. Let's see what's out in the market. Four scouts are going to let me have. That's that's quite good. That right. Condition, uh, employment, coaching. Where is it? Pick attribute. Don't want that. Cancel. Condition, employed. Want that one. Employed no nationality staff role, and he is a scout, chief scout. We need one of them first, and we'll go attribute judging player potential, judging player ability, uh, working with youngsters. Yeah, we'll go with that in a minute. No, we're not going to get anyone for 15. I should have lowered that straight away. But we'll put that down until we get someone that comes up. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. There we go. What we got here then? Patrick Anderson. What you got? What you got for me? Not too bad. From Sweden. Pick some talent out there in Swedish leagues actually. Nicky Keown, terrible mate. Simon Morris, terrible mate. Mig Salt, terrible mate. Josh Woodbine, terrible mate. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Patrick Anderson, you're going to have to come in. We need someone like you anyway. Approach the sign. 170, we're going to get that much lower than what it is. Let's go 130. Add bonus. Benarama National League, avoid relegation. We'll give you. Oh, let's put that right down. That's way too much. Way, way too much. 150. Suggest that. Take it down, couple. Suggest that. Boom. Patrick Anderson, welcome to the club. Right. That is our first signing made. It's not a player, it's a scout. We need him. It's in the bag. So for today's episode, we are done. Next episode, we'll be looking to build our squad a bit more. We've got our first scout in, so we're getting the club's staff all organised, and we're happy with that. So over and out for me. I'll see you in three. Adios, amigos.